Okay, let's suppose you're out looking for a car. In this video, I'm going to show you how to compute your monthly car payment using the TI-83 Plus graphing calculator. So let's look at the examples. Let's suppose that after a down payment, tax and license, the financing is going to be for $22,560. $22,560. Let's suppose the interest rate is 4.5% compounded monthly. And we want to ask now what is the monthly payment on the loan if the term of financing is 4. Okay, so we have these options. Say, say you want to finance it for 3 years, then 4 years, 5 years, and see what, uh, what your payments would be. Okay, so... Uh, on the TI-83 Plus, if you go to the apps here in blue or purple, whatever that is, APPS, click on that and you have one is finance. Now you can add different uh, items to this from the internet or you can create your own. But if I hit enter, most of these are related to the first one. So I'm just going to use the first one, TVM Solver. So you said enter since it's highlighted. And here, here's the way it works. Uh, the N is going to be the number of payments. So you're making monthly payments for three years. That's 12 months times three. So that'll be 36. So let's enter 36 there. The interest rate is 4.5. So it's in terms of a percent. So we don't move the decimal here. We just leave it. The calculator does the rest. 4.5%. Present value, we're not looking for that right now, we're looking for the payment. Uh, so we're not looking for future value, which is FV, we're looking for PMT. So I'm going to leave those blank for now. And the periods per year are going to be 12, so it's compounded monthly. Don't worry about the C slash Y, that would change also to 12, there it is. And then just move up the cursor to PMT, and we'll go to compute the payment necessary here. Uh, uh, take it back here. I do have to enter the, the present value, which is in this case is going to be the uh, the debt or the financing. So the the present value in this case is twenty two thousand five sixty. Twenty two thousand five sixty. Okay. Okay, so that's your, that's your present value, which is the amount of the debt. So now put the cursor on the zero there, corresponding to the payment, and then over here hit, hit the alpha key, alpha, and then enter, and we're actually doing the, the south part there of this. Hit enter, and we get, ignore the negative, this would be $671.00 run down to the nearest cent and nine cents so 671.09 okay so that's what your payment would be if you finance for three years okay now let's see what it would be if we finance for four years okay so all we're going to do is come back up here and four years that would be four times twelve so that would be forty eight payments so forty eight Okay, present value should going to be the same. Everything is the same. So then I just come over here to this one here, and I want to compute the payment. I can set that to zero or leave it the way it is. So I'm just going to hit alpha and then enter again. And I get $514.45. $514.45. Okay. So you get a smaller payment okay if you go four years but keep in mind you're also paying more interest when you do that so let's go to the option C let's see if we finance for five years that'll be in this case five times twelve this will be sixty interest rate is still the same present value stays the same so again put this on payment everything else is the same and it alpha 
and then enter. And now, if I finance for five years, the payment, monthly payment is $520.59. Okay, so that's something you have to consider. Okay, uh, if you go for three years, the payment is larger. If you go for four years or five years, you have a smaller payment, but you're paying more interest. Okay, so let's see how much interest we're paying if we do that. Okay, so I've already computed these, but here's the way you would do it. Okay, so in, in the first option, if I go for three years, it's, it's uh, 36 payments times the, uh, the, the amount of the payment, which is 671. Point zero 0.09 subtract I'm financing though the 22,560 so hit enter and my interest is 1,599.24 cents okay so that consider that then if we go with uh, four years, that's 48 payments times the amount of the payment, which is 514.45 minus the actual amount that we're financing, which is 22,560. Okay, hit enter, and I get 2,133.60, 2,133.60, okay, so I'm paying more interest there, okay, obviously if I go for five years, I would pay even more interest, so this would be then 60, 60 payments times the amount of each payment for 20.59 minus the amount financed 22,560 and in this case the interest is 2,675 and 40 cents okay so that's something to consider if you go with the three-year you pay more uh, for the payment. Your payment is larger, but you pay less interest o over the term. Okay? So that's something you need to consider when you buy a car. Okay, so there again are the payments 67109 if you finance for three years, and there's your interest that you're paying. And then for four years, payment at 514.45, and the interest is 2133.60 if you go for six years yeah you get a much smaller payment 460.59 but look at the interest you pay 2675.40 okay so you can compute this on the ti83 plus uh, most graphing calculators will have this finance function you can also use other resources but uh, it'll be uh, to your benefit when you go buy a car to have something to be able to compute the monthly payment don't just depend on the uh, salesperson because sometimes they'll add some uh, fees that they don't tell you about and it just could be a few dollars that they add but over the period of three years or four years or five years it's going to add up okay so uh, we'll see you in the next video and if these are helping you please subscribe